There are some mysteries that simply cannot be explained. Is there life after death? How will the universe end? And just what the heck is hybrid? The latter is a homebrew online tabletop RPG that makes absolutely no sense. It's possibly the most convoluted, nonsensical game in existence. Hybrid was created by someone named Matthew C++. It originated from disjointed messages posted on a bulletin board system called Usenet in the 90s. The messages were posted in two specific newsgroup categories, and in March 2002, Hybrid was published on a website where the game was known as the One Paragraph RPG, or the One Sentence RPG. This may be the first ever published version of the game. At some point, an individual named Philippe Tomar ended up hosting the game on a now-defunct website in HTML format. Over the course of several years, the game was updated with different versions and rules, and the result is staggering. Hybrid, which is an incomplete, diceless science fiction game, comprises over 500 complex rules with references to pop culture, movies, politics, superheroes, race, social issues, war, and other RPGs and their own rule sets. The game also has many different versions that are not in sequential order, so version 0.21 is newer than version 0.34. In terms of what Hybrid is about, the game's author says it, quote, assumes that reality tries to reveal itself. The author then expresses that he's trying to understand the science fiction of Doctor Who and MU, which presumably means Marvel Universe, all while trying to easily interpret advanced math books, which contain, quote, gibberish. Hybrid is said to correctly model both physical reality and various phenomena through mathematics. There are apparently at least 147 mathematical equations and formulas, but they mostly include undefined variables. That means you can't implement them in the game, making Hybrid fundamentally broken. The core of the game revolves around this formula, in which, quote, X is some number at some unit. According to the author, the formula replaces every rule in every other game, and it unifies all games under one umbrella. However, according to some online users, the problem with the logarithm is that it never explains what you take the log of, and there are instances where you take the log of the log of the log. Furthermore, even though Hybrid uses a log-based approach while being a diceless game, you still need to roll d6 for randomization. Another equation that the game uses is this one, which the game's author proudly says is, quote, One of my most brilliant equations, 4 and 2 explain power levels, use an 86MU TSR RPG to figure out time travel capability of mutants and gods. The author also claims that the equation allows you to, quote, literally condense a thousand pages of RPGs and comics into one sentence. Not only that, but the equation also lets you, quote, Construct almost any character, object, god, universe, monster, human, animal, demigod, or mutant. Some of the characters in Hybrid include Marvel villains like a sentient brain called the Supreme Intelligence, Ego the Living Planet, and quote, a little bit of Galactus, whatever that means. There is also Digimon, Blade, the Matrix characters, ghosts, animals like lions, the USS Voyager from Star Trek, and the girl from the Firestarter movie who can light things on fire. Each character seems to have their own formulas and attributes, as Hybrid uses a tri-stat system. According to an RPG Geek.com forum user named Clark Timmons, who claims to have read the rules and played the game, or at least attempted to play the game, players can create their own characters with attributes like power level, lifespan, default psyche, warp, technological level, and height. Oddly enough though, all of your stats are determined by your height and nothing else. That means that the tallest person in combat should win, but Timmons notes that even though combat is based on dice pool success, it quote, does not come down to random dice results because the rules offer no mechanism for actually using your pools in combat. It tells you how to calculate them and how to interpret rules mathematically, but there's no rule for implementing them. Furthermore, Timmons says that most of the rules can be ignored since almost none of them will occur in any game session. So it basically sounds like the game isn't even playable. It's just the range ramblings of a nerd referencing random things like Vikings, He-Man, a Jet Li movie, crony capitalism, Jews, dinosaurs, the Second Amendment, boiled potatoes, God, the Philadelphia Experiment, Nikola Tesla, Godzilla, and quote, the black dude with the teleporting powers in the recent movie X-Men Origins Wolverine. If that wasn't enough, the author also makes misogynistic statements and includes a rule that explains homosexuality mathematically. The only way to get any real sense of what the rules are like is to read one of them out loud verbatim. As such, here's rule number 501, which partially reads, quote, Inflation, which is caused by feminism, which is bad, as well as recursive, forcing some women who do not want to be feminist to become feminist, in a recursive matter that of mad cow disease. 
you can use simple parts of it, and not the complicated parts of it, Doppler Effect and Resonance Theory, to figure the dynamics of the ending of the novel, Mill on the Floss, only to give an answer which says that one must go with the flow, or be taken away by it, which is coincidentally and horrifyingly similar to the ending of the book Mill on the Floss, which the title might mean on the edge, or something stinks in Denmark, part of a quote from Hamlet, lot of recycling of themes, which I don't do in my RPG hybrid, which 1%, 1% of it is based on after I borrow the fraction of meaning, part of the idea of Psyche, which even that is not like the from the 86 MUTSR RPG, while everything else is original, but coincidentally similar to parts of all other RPGs, but even the term Psyche is not the same as in the 86 MUTSR RPG, since the 86 MUTSR RPG uses a unitless unit class, while all my units are at C number, such as Adamantium is at 1000 C3 PL or power level, which is 55 C2 power level, where 55 to the power of log base 10 of 55 C2 equals number at C3 equals 21 C1 by same recursive method, while intelligence for Dr. Doom is at 60 C1 so that he can decrease his LS or lifespan to half of 60 so that he can increase his power level to 60 times 2, which my math operations maintains conservation of mass and energy, which without proper units such as my feet. That was all two sentences, and almost all the rules are written and formatted like this. Additionally, there's an X-rated rule, which is presumably why the author warns that hybrid is for mature audiences only, even though, quote, most 90% of this RPG is for all ages. What's more, there are also other rules regarding women. In one version of the rules, there's a section dedicated to females that has a picture of a bikini-clad woman on all fours. The author states that he will only use masculine pronouns, quote, not out of bias, but it's simply too complicated to create female characters in my house rules. He further elaborates in rule number 550 that, quote, creating women in my RPG requires politically incorrect math. What's more, there is also a rule for dating women, and another rule for, quote, those guys who don't know about, but want to know what women really want and expect from men. Some rules are contradictory, or contain off-topic commentary. Some rules aren't even rules at all. Case in point, Hybrid's author wrote a random review of Yu-Gi-Oh! and a brownie cake recipe. The latter has nothing to do with the game, and was only included because some people may get hungry while reading the rules. At some point, the author goes on a rant about how people are criticizing him for going off-topic, and for not understanding Hybrid's RPG system. He goes on to explain in the About Me section of his webpage that he purposely writes backwards as he prefers to write the conclusion first and then the introduction later. The author compares his writing style to Dexter's Laboratory and says, quote, And no, I do not have Dilexi, where those see slash read letters backward. Interestingly, the author does admit that some of his equations are, quote, not based on real science and that, quote, many of my posts are riddled with errors or and typos. The game's heading even reads, quote, Version 0.3, Comedy of Errors, or The Greatest RPG Hybrid. So the self-deprecating humor implies that maybe hybrid is just a joke. Some speculate it's just someone going to extreme and dedicated lengths at trolling, while others think it's a serious attempt at creating a game. Meanwhile, some think that it's just some pompous, sexist Marvel stan that thinks that his mumbo-jumbo will solve or lead to some greater truth. It's also speculated that the author may be schizophrenic, or that a posting bot is writing all of this. The latter may be true, but back in the 90s, a man did dedicate his time to writing something like Hybrid. Otis Eugene Ray is notorious for writing about what he called the Time Cube, which is a perplexing, incoherent theory that states that one single day consists of four days occurring simultaneously. It's almost as crazy and unintelligible as Hybrid, and so it's possible that Hybrid really was written by a human being. Unlike the author of Time Cube, however, Hybrid's author never really got famous for his game, nor is there evidence that he profited from it. After Hybrid's website was shut down in 2009, a blogger website appeared in 2016 that seems to be a continuation of Hybrid. It contains even more rules, but it includes an unusually large amount of random and suspicious links that the author tells you to go to to find the truth. As of this time, the latest blog update was made on June 23rd, 2022, but there's no certainty that the blog is even from the creator of Hybrid. At most, Hybrid was said to be around 30% complete, and it's unknown if it'll ever be 100% finished.